Let's dive into Consulate, a large-sized map designed for roaming and rotation. This map has three floors, the first floor or ground floor, the second floor, and the basement. Let's start in the lobby, a central junction of Consulate. It's a large room at the center of the map, and it links all floors with its main stairs. The front door offers access to the exterior. Note the hatch located on the floor, which leads down to the basement, and the one in the ceiling, which leads onto the second floor. To the west is the antechamber, and then the public bathroom. Note the hatch on the floor here. It leads to the garage in the basement. We then move through a breachable wall into the press room. Most of the floor on this level is destructible. Look for wooden sections you can destroy to strike opponents below. To the north are the exit stairs, also called the yellow stairs. These are the most important stairs on the map because they lead to all three floors. From here, we continue into the west corridor, which leads to the main stairs, which again provide access to all three floors. Note that this area is quite dangerous. The stairs are narrow and it's an open area where you can easily be spotted. As you can see, we're now back in the lobby. Let's go east to enter the east corridor and then the tellers. Through the openings in the wall, you can reach the visa office, a big open room with two hatches on the floor. Both of the hatches lead to the archives in the basement. To the south are the service stairs, which also lead to all three floors. Back to the lobby. Let's take the main stairs and access the second floor. Note the skylight at the top of the main stairs. It's accessible from the roof, but it's very exposed, so you can easily be spotted. Next to the main stairs is the hallway. Note that this room is very narrow, making it a deadly area where you can be easily taken down. Moving west, we encounter the console front desk and the private bathroom, where the tiled, destructible walls can provide lines of sight to the exit stairs and the console front desk. Further west are the exit stairs, which we saw earlier. They lead to the first floor and basement, and you'll want to notice the skylight which is an important access point from the roof. Moving south, we enter the console office, a key room that may contain various objective sites. In the cabinet, note the destructible wall that leads to the exit stairs. Moving west from the console office, we breach into the waiting room and then move on into the meeting room. Note the windows to the balcony. They're an important exterior access point. Located to the east are the service stairs, which we've just seen. They lead to the visa office on the first floor and into the basement. See the destructible wall over there? It provides a line of sight to the administration office, an area we'll visit in a couple of seconds. We now move through the front office, back to the hallway we saw earlier, and head to the administration office. This is a big room with destructible floors and many desks that can provide great opportunities for cover. This room is also accessible from the outside through the windows on the east side. Finally, moving north, we head through the copy room and circle back into the hallway. Going back to the lobby, let's take the main stairs to access the basement. Moving into the basement, we arrive at the locker hallway. Going west down the basement corridor, you can see the security room. Note the destructible walls on the west side. Further west, we come to the garage, which has access to the exit stairs we saw earlier. They lead to the press room on the first floor and the console front desk on the second floor. The garage is one of the most important rooms in the basement. It contains many objective sites and opportunities for cover, and it provides easy access to the exterior. Note the hatch that we saw earlier, which leads to the public bathroom on the first floor. West of the garage is the cafeteria. Moving east, we encounter the service stairs we saw earlier. They lead to the visa office on the first floor and front office on the second floor. Head east to the archives corridor. Note the hatch above that we saw earlier in the visa office and the grate that provides a view to the rest of the archives. Head through the archives. This area may contain numerous objective sites. You'll want to note the hatch in the corner, which is accessible via the visa office. Finally, we move back into the locker hallway, right next to the main stairs. Consulate offers four spawn points. South is the police line spawn point. To the southeast is the riot barricade entrance. The third spawn point is the side entrance, situated northeast. And the fourth one is the gas station, located northwest.
The map's three stairs lead to all three floors. Consulate has many destructible floors and walls. It also has lots of hatches that access objective sites. Finally, watch out for operators peeking through windows. You could be easily taken down. Got it, operators? Let's get into action.